Okay, we're here looking at this uh, next book eight. Okay, uh, model number is that guy right there. I don't know if you can see that real good or not. But um, I got it in from a buddy of mine. He said he had uh, they had locked it and lost the password to it. And um, I was thinking it'd be like any other like Android device or you know, that kind of thing, you hit a button, press, you know, on the side of it, and it throws you into recovery, and you just, you know, you know, quick tap a button, and you got it unlocked, you know, by uh, doing a factory restore on it, um, but this one decided it was going to be a little bit of a monster, um, rushed around looking everywhere trying to figure out well, what's the button press what's the button press this one doesn't have a button press um, in fact other models of it have a dozen ways to get into it and you can use you know uh, like a keyboard or something but this model does not come with the keyboard there's not one designed for it okay so to do a factory store on a password you gotta think of something you gotta come up with another keyboard for it you got to you know go along them lines, you're going to have to think outside the box to get it to go through. Um, uh, I'll just go ahead and go through my story here. So we, I already unlocked this once and figured everything out. So I'm just going to walk you through the story here. So you get what you, um, let's see here. So you get in there. It'll be a little bit slow on me in it. Oh, I guess I powered it off, didn't I? Oh well. We'll cut this out. Maybe we want to see what all it takes to get these things to turn on and everything. We'll see. I'll look at the video here now after I get done with this. Okay, so now we're back to the screen here. And you see it's a password locked. You type it in, you know, some bull crap, but you can't lock, you know, it's locked. Okay. So then somebody comes up with a trick to where, okay, I don't have a keyboard for this. And you can't hold, they found a trick where you you hold shift and you power it off while it's, while it's shutting off. Okay, on the other keyboards, one of the ones that actually have keyboards that come with them, um, you hold shift and, sh and restart it. And that puts it into recovery. Um, so someone come up with the, you know, hitting the keyboard on the side. And bringing it up. Okay. I'll turn it sideways here so we get the keyboard a little bit bigger. Okay, so now we're just going to make it where it holds shift. Okay, so the shift is lit up there like it's being held. Okay, then we're going to hit the power on the screen. Okay, until it's restart. I don't know if it's getting kind of hard to see there. Going to restart it. So now, now it's held shift. Now it put went into recovery. So we, we got to that point. That took uh, I don't know a couple hours just trying to figure out to get to this point. Now we're going to. So we want to go to troubleshooting and then go to reset the PC. Okay. Now we did that. It's going to go ahead and reboot here. Oh, covering the camera. Guys, I'll get better at this, I promise. This is just the first of many videos that I'm planning on trying to do. You got to do, uh, um, I believe that you got to. You know, walk before you run on some of this stuff. Mistakes will be made, but I will get better.
Okay, so we're here now. Okay, can you see that? Reset your PC. But it doesn't work. You can't hit no buttons. Okay. There's no button that you can hit to make it do, to make it work on that button. Nothing. So you're locked. Okay. You cannot recover it without a keyboard. Okay. Without the keyboard that comes with it. Okay. So. Back to thinking outside the box. So, um, I have tools and such, and, you know, I was actually just, um, oh, here we go again. So I got tools and such, and I come up with that, where it has USBs, I have an actual, com like, computer power slide up underneath my, uh, my entertainment center, okay, that powers that, okay, so that it charges phones and stuff faster than just normal, you know, USB port that you plug in the wall. I figure, you know, it's, a, it's like a 28 amp rail or something like that. You know, I just plugged it right into that thing because I, cause I actually used the 12 volt leg for a, uh, oh, a stereo amplifier for my subs. Okay. So I have that. I had the USB port, the USB ports that I had for that because I bought like 30 of them when I went and did it. <laughs> see here I'm trying to find my little device I come up with here so what I did was is I created you know I just put them back to back flip them end over end okay you have that end is like that that is just opposite of it okay so I had that and then what I did is I plugged in USB cord inside one. And keyboard inside the other. Okay. That keyboard right there on the floor. Sorry. Keep covering the camera, guys. That keyboard right there on the side on the floor there. You plug it in, you power it up, same thing. It doesn't recognize the keyboard. Okay. Um, so then I was like, okay, well maybe it's just not gonna driver for the keyboards. It's not gonna work. Um, it's just not gonna work. Okay. I went on the company website, they have a recovery file that you download and you 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 burn it to a uh a USB drive. Went and did that. Okay. Plugged into my makeshift little device there. Plugged into the tablet. Still nothing. No light on the deal. No nothing. Um, so at that point, I realized there's no lights, no nothing on the keyboard or anything. It's got to be that 5 volt rail. So then what I do is I have a cable, a real long cable here that I kind of uh, I cannibalized. And tore up have a real long nice one had gold tips and I was stupid enough to cut the cut it and once I did that it just, it just made the cable you know not so good anymore so I started on the the five volt legs five volt power rail right there okay outer outer two pins you can get on Google get your get a get a pin out image okay I'll tell you the, the image, uh, the, the pinouts for your USBs. Okay. And just, so I have that end right there. Let's see, are the cables. Have it over there. I have the other end plugged into the keyboard. Okay. We're going to go ahead and plug it into my power source over here. Oh, where we got? Where we at here? Can't really see it, can you? There you go. Maybe you can see that a little better. Though. So we plugged it into that. 
So now I got five volts going to it. Oh, now I got five volts going to it. Let's see what happens. Wish I could do more of this on camera, guys. I'll do better next time, like I said. But I want to get this out there so somebody don't just uh, hang up on this. Because I was about to give. And I hate giving up. So we're, we're going to turn it back on here. Okay. Take the keyboard, sit it right here. See, put your power onto that port right there. They got the, got the keyboard in here. It's just going through and adding power to it is all it's doing. Okay. You can do find another way to adapt it. You could probably just take your a USB cord and uh, you know maybe just add, an, add a port to it or just wire it all into one cord you don't have to do it like that I just had that where I don't have to damage a bunch of cords um, luckily I had one that was already damaged so I didn't have to do much more alright so here we are again okay now we type it up here type up in here and now it works the keyboard works Great! Now we can get this thing done. So, let's just go ahead and go hold our, hold the shift key. I'll hold the shift key here. Hit power. Reset. See, I have that shift key down. There we are. Okay. Now we have to troubleshoot. Reset PC. So give us a minute here. Flip it back up. Okay, well, we've got the fixing to come up here. Okay, now, see that? Got the option? Now we just hit enter. Okay, now you got two deals there, and you hit tab. Okay, hit tab down. See that? It moves. Got a box. Hit the lower one. It says fully, fully reset. Hit enter. Hit enter again. And we're going to go through the process. Now, it'll go and reset a couple of times. Um, and then once it's done, you just let it go. Make sure you have a good charge battery before you start all this. I'm saying this after that's already through the video here. Um, but uh, make sure you have a good charge battery. Um, I won't worry about unplugging the keyboard or anything until it's done. Um, just don't disturb it. You don't want to. You don't want to stop it during this process at all. Um, you could really brick it if you mess if you mess it up somehow. Um, so I'd let it go through the process, and then um, it'll come back up and ask you your region. You know. Um, and at that point, you got a freshly started unit. Everything will be good to go. Um, and, yeah. Thank you very much.